Hi everybody, welcome back. I know, I know I said I wasn't going to post on Sunday, but I just saw this. I thought it was interesting and I just wanted to share it quickly, quickly. Okay. So take a look. Would you rather be stuck in a forest with a bear or a man or Diddy? Yeah, oh, oh. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Give me some sticks. I sharpen it into a spear. One on one with the bear. Yeah, you yeah. can low-key get away from I'm Diddy and not a bear. But he's better for me to go with a bear <laughs> than to go with Diddy. Diddy can just appear though. He has like teleporting power. So like you yeah. think you're running and then you look you behind you. Diddy's there. there. You'll see like a trail of baby oil just yeah, falling. Yeah. Diddy, my language is ED. ED is ass. That's what he wants though. <laughs> I don't want that. I would choose the bear, but like, I don't know, he's got a lot of money, like, I don't know, like. I'd rather take my chances with the bear, to tell you the truth. I've seen it in the movie, The Revenant, the guy handled the bear, and <laughs> you should have seen how he's skillful, man. Like, I'm sure I could do the same thing, too. I've done some some stuff, man. Everyone said, oh, pause this, pause that. Now I'm not just saying, no, Diddy? I'm scared for my life right now. So now that they know what the Diddler can do, they are all choosing the best. And that was not the only thing. I want to play a few of their responses, but yeah. most of them are like, ah, is that how women see us? Is that actually how women view us? And they are still not getting the point. Okay. You like, I don't even know if I should be annoyed or laugh at them. I don't know the feeling that is going on within me right now because you guys were condemning women for choosing the bell. And now all of you are jumping to the bell too. It's the same shit. Okay. The thing is, most women do not know what they are getting when they see men. Some men are, yeah, yeah, they are all the way there, even worse than the diddler, okay? Yeah, yeah, and that's why they were choosing the best. And you both were here complaining about it. Now that is you, and the shoe is on the other foot, now it makes sense to you. Now you kind of understand. Most of you are, quote and unquote, good men because you don't have money. Mm hmm most of you are quote and unquote good or great men because you don't have money. The moment money and power hit your hands, most of you will be worse than Diddy. Mm. So if women say they are choosing their best, I hope now it makes sense. But I know some people will still argue with it. Anyway, let's get into some of the stitches and I'm going to come back and talk some more. Leave your own thoughts and opinions in the comment section. Thank you. With a bear or a man? Or Diddy? Oh. 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 No, 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 no. no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I remember when this question was posed to women and men pretended to be outraged over our response in choosing the bear rather than you. And now that this same question is being posed to you and the threat is Diddy, you too choose the bear. <laughs> Allowing all of us to see just how disingenuous you are indeed. Having full knowledge and awareness that the greatest threat to women is you. <laughs> it is rather delicious. The man versus bear question is back, except for now it's the bear or Diddy. And we're asking men. And suddenly, suddenly... The guys are choosing the bear. <laughs> All those alphas telling us that they couldn't wait to watch us get eaten by our proverbial choice would also choose the bear if it's their cornholio that's in the equation. <laughs> and I don't want to be drugged and graped. I don't want to be passed around like a favor. You don't? You don't? I'm sorry, you're a man. You can't be graped. Physically, it's impossible. Your body will just shut down if you don't want it. Listen to me. I'm a woman. That means I know everything about male anatomy, and I'm telling you, it's impossible for men to be graped. If it's happening, it's only because they wanted it. The male body knows how to defend itself. That is all. And would you rather be trapped in the woods with a bear? or Sean Diddy Combs. Because Sean Diddy Combs came out with his whole chest and said that all the allegations against him were false. They were slandering his name. People just looking for a quick buck, a quick payday. Just for the video to come out and us all to get a fraction, a small fraction of what Sean Diddy Combs is capable of. So Bear or Sean Diddy Combs? And I'm only saying him because there's no way that all these other men coming out about how could you choose a bear? I'm not like that. Most men aren't like that. There's no way that they 
could be lying. There's no way for us to know that they would be lying. We just had to take what they're saying at face value. The same way Sean Diddy Combs came out with his whole chest and said all of those allegations are false. Men should expect us to just take their word for it. The same way we took Sean Diddy Combs word. And there are still some people right now defending Sean Diddy Combs. Man or bear? Would you rather be stuck in a forest with a bear or, a man. or Diddy? Oh. Okay, I want to talk about this. Go back and watch the video first, okay? Um, it enrages me um, that now they get it, right? Um, I know that everybody seeing this video is like, oh, okay, you know, um, it's funny, right? Compare it to Diddy, they get it. It's not funny. Um, they weren't listening to us about it. Um, they weren't going like, oh, let's learn from the women that are saying they choose the bear. They were making fun of us. Um, but now you liken it to something that could potentially have happened to them and all of a sudden they get it. Um, men need to start listening to women, period. End of story. Just like white people need to start listening to black people. Just like any oppressor needs to start listening to their oppressed because those are the people that are in the best position to explain it i cannot remember the context or the the uh podcast and and i will go back and and educate myself so i can credit properly in in the comments here but um there was a man and he was asking a woman like why do you think um that you're in the best position to be in a male space and talk about males and her answer was that the oppressed is always in a better position to educate the oppressor because they experience them right so just like a black man is better suited to articulate what whiteness means because he experiences it women are in the better position to explain what male toxic behavior is because we experience it every day of our lives from basically birth I don't know, the whole thing pisses me off. The whole thing makes me very upset. Okay, so I saw this conversation about the whole Diddy or a bear in the woods again. I was like, oh, here we go. But I ain't gonna hold you. I was, it got me thinking. It depends on the Diddy, okay? It depends on the Diddy. Like, if it's like regular Diddy, like music making Diddy, I'm like, all right, give me Diddy. I'll beat his ass before I let him do anything. But if it's Johnson and Johnson Diddy, oiled up Diddy, oh, yeah, go on, give me that bear. Yeah, go, just give me the bear, slide it through. Go and give me keys. You know what? I go in the cage with the bear before I take an oiled up Diddy. Oh, uh, yeah. He ain't slipping and sliding on this side. Uh-uh. Put me in the cage. Put me in the woods. I go find a bear myself. But on a serious note, if y'all really looking at dudes, every man you look at, y'all just be like, yeah, you might be a diddler. That's kind of, who is the evil world we live in? It's okay because I look at all women as Jezebel. Y'all all got, y'all all look like Jezebel to me. So I think it is, we even. Would you rather be stuck in a forest with a bear or, a or Diddy? Bad boy. Oh. Oh. No, 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 no. Bad, yeah, bad, yeah. Bad. Give me some sticks. I sharpen it into a spear. One on one with the bear. Yeah, you could low key get away from I'm Diddy and not a bear. But he's better off of me. I don't ever want to hear the man versus bear conversation ever again. Because now all these men are starting to understand why women were picking bear. And y'all remember, I said I had to log off the internet because all the women started to pick bear. But now we come to the conclusion that, damn, this is how all women see us men. When a woman first has her interaction with a man she don't know at the bar, club, out in the social space, they view you as the diddler. Could you imagine that? Could you really imagine that having peer intentions with a woman? And when you go to say, hey, how's it going? I seen you over here. She thinking of you as Diddy. Ain't that something that's crazy? I hate to say it like this because I hate this phrase, but you really got a bunch of grown ass men that would rather be cuddled up with a bear instead of trying to survive for their life with Diddy. Are you, we serious right now, right? Because all of them are very confident in their answer. Would you rather be stuck in a forest with a bear or, a man? or Diddy? Bad boy. Oh. Oh. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Give me some sticks. I sharpen it into a spear. One on one with the bear. All righty. This is quite ironic. A lot of you guys make fun of women for saying that they choose the bear. And the guys in the video say they rather choose the bear than to be harassed or stalked or, or attacked by another man. Men, eh? You see that goalpost? They'll forever continue shifting it. Mm. The guy who is saying now he will go into the cage with the bear if he gets the other digi. 
if it's uh the baby oil dd is going into the the cage with the bear what are you talking about mm -hmm. that you you actually made a point with with your video and your point is we don't know the kind of man we are going to meet because Didi forever was known as the, you know, entertainment, is it Mogul? The guy who had the money, the fame, the power. Forever he was a musician to a lot of people who had a lot of money, a celebrity to a lot of people who had a lot of money. There were rumors here and there about certain things, but people didn't, you know, yeah, until, until things started coming out about him. You know, so how do you know? How do you know which DD you are getting? Mm -hmm. Because that DD that was making the music was still the DD with the baby oil. You just didn't know. So you guys can continue shifting the goalposts and pretend you don't understand what is going on. But I still stand by my point in that most of you who claim to be great guys who are not like the other guys who are never like DD, you just don't have money and fame. Mm -hmm. If you have money, fame, power, and opportunity mm -hmm. and opportunity that's also very important all right opportunity to do that and get away with it mm -hmm. we'll see the true you your true character will come out and the ones that they were talking about the proverbial ones that were, they were talking about in the woods yes those are the ones who have been able to hide themselves in broad daylight and now they are in the woods being able to do whatever they want to do, right? So if I'm I'm in the woods and I meet a guy coming, I'm not going to run and run into his arms. I don't know what kind of guy he is. And if you don't understand, that's that's on you. And it is what it is. But anyway, let me know your point, uh, your thoughts about all of this. And I'll see you again with another video tomorrow. Take care of yourselves. Bye.